Taurus, welcome back to my channel and welcome all my new Tauruses here. Let's take a look at what are the harsh truths you need to hear at this current moment from your spiritual team, your spirit guides. Uh, the purpose of this reading, I always have to say this disclaimer because people think that I'm just going to say just mean things or things like that. Um, that's not the purpose of this reading. This is more of a reading to help you get on track and to confront your shadow side or things that you may just need to work on. So just look at it from that angle. But let's jump in. If you do want a personal, check out the description box. My website will be there. Enter the code LOVE at checkout so you can get 50% off of your love readings for like the next week or so. So take advantage of that. I don't really do 50% off often. And if you never got a reading, this would be like the perfect time to check that out. But um, yeah, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see future uploads and lives. But first card that we have is the strength card. So the first harsh truth that you're needing to hear, Taurus, you stepping into a space of confidence is where you guys are thriving the most. That's when you guys are in a space of manifesting the most, okay, when you're sure of yourself. And when I say confidence, I don't mean like confidence on a superficial level. I mean confidence in knowing that you know what's best for you or confidence in uh, you showing up and taking action on your creative endeavors and knowing that you have an actual gift to, you know, express or put out there. This is being just self-aware. And for a lot of my Taurus, there may have been just a moment where outside things were kind of determining your self-awareness or confusing you a little bit when it comes to who you are. And it's time to reel it in. And for a lot of you, you have been actually doing the work, but it's essential to know that everything is happening the way that it's supposed to, especially with the justice card being here. There's a lot of karmic events that you guys may have been experiencing recently over the last couple of months that were more so to rebalance or align your life back into like a peaceful serene environment for you okay so if you're wondering hmm yeah I know that person that I really want to be with has an anger issue or they stir up anger within me should I go back know that everything is divinely happening the way that it's supposed to if it's meant to come back it will come back if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be We also have the Page of Pinnacles. Okay, that was like almost the whole entire deck. <laughs> the Page of Pinnacles and the Judgment card. Hmm. So, yes. Uh, Taurus. Okay, so another harsh truth. When it comes to you having brilliant ideas when it comes to business, Spirit is saying that it's time for you to get to the starting point. The page always represents the starting point of something, okay? So I think that for you, there may be a need for you to kind of get practical in terms of figuring out how much do you need to finance this or to pay for this or looking at the logistics or the back end stuff when it comes to some business ideas that you may have. And this could also just speak to you guys needing to be more practical. You could be expecting too much too soon, especially from a newer business or some newer endeavors that you could be taking on. And it's just needing to let time work for you and just continue this energy of being excited to, you know, explore new ways to branch out your business or get your business discovered. Spirit is also pointing to your physical health. If you've been noticing certain things with your physical health, that may be a need for you to take precaution to that or not precaution, but take notice to that. <clears throat> so 
Some of you guys may have certain friends around you who are questionable. Okay, the harsh truth is, do you have certain friends around you for what you can offer them? Especially if you are somebody who's resourceful or that friend that's going to, you know, lend your friends money or be that support that maybe your friends or some of your friends may not be for you. Okay, especially if this is a Leo, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. I'm also hearing control impulses. Okay, the harsh truth may be that some of you guys could be moving off of what your mind tells you to do in the moment too much. And you do need to be aware of what acting on your impulses may do for you in the long run. If you don't think your choice is out. Hmm, another harsh truth. You may have somebody who's a friends with benefits, not somebody who you've ever seriously dated. Maybe somebody you saw yourself dating, but it just may have never gotten there. This person, the harsh truth is this person may randomly contact you or come out of the blue because they know that you may have not moved on from them or that if they were to come back around, you would accept them. So this is a clear sign of needing to put boundaries in place so that this person doesn't keep doing it because the truth is they're going to keep doing it. As long as they feel like they have access to you, they will keep doing this back and forth. Hmm. Ooh, another harsh truth. There could be the same argument that's repeating within a relationship that you're in or a connection that you have uh, family-wise, love-wise, work-wise. Whatever conflict you could be running into with another individual during this time frame, you may, the harsh truth is you may keep running into this issue because you and this person are not on the same page at all in terms of understanding. And it could be due to the, the fact of stubbornness, stubbornness or bad communication, especially if this is a cancer Mm, okay, uh, spirit is also saying the harsh truth is, yes, you may have not necessarily gotten what you wanted in terms of, you know, wanting to be with a specific person, but maybe they aren't as serious quite yet. Or maybe you haven't necessarily gotten certain wishes that you've um, had in, in mind or wishes that you may have had in general may have not came to fruition quite yet. But there's a need for you to move forward. I think that a lot of you have been just kind of focusing on the fact that that, you know, business idea didn't necessarily pan out the way that you may have thought or that relationship didn't pan out the way that you may have thought. Or um, maybe you're waiting for weight loss results and maybe it isn't exactly, you know, in the time frame that you would have hope for whatever this may be this is needing to let go of that because you sitting in that doesn't do anything if anything you should just more so take it as learning lessons so that you can succeed moving forward because the nine of cups in reverse and the chariot are totally different op i mean totally different opposites what totally different energies in the sense of you pushing yourself forward and that's what's going to bring you the level of success that you could be looking for. So yeah, especially with the three of swords in reverse here, right next to it, it's like letting go of that so that you can really learn from your mistakes. Okay. The harsh truth is you may be needing to learn from your previous obstacles, your previous challenges. But this is what I see. I hope that this reading was helpful and that you took something from it. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.